Hello folks, and welcome back to Corn Farm. Here we are, we're in May still, and we're going to be sticking here for a little bit. Bloody times at times one speed. Actually you no, know, we'll head to the dealership because we got some spraying to do, and in last episode we did start spray the new root crops. However, I figured out we don't need to spray uh, yeah, spray the root crops, but we do need to spray the sunflower and cornfield. So if we have a look here on the PDA, just confirm it is corn and sunflower. Yep, yeah, corn and sunflower. So yeah, we did have a sprayer. I think we purchased one or we leased it. We leased it. However, I thought, let's try something different. Like, like something a bit different with this series, and yeah, this is why. Again, I'm going to be using some stuff from the premium expansion DLC. I'm going to be using the self propelled sprayer. So, yeah, I was going to yeah, have a little bit of fun in that and see how it all goes. So, let's go and park this up at the dealership for now. We'll come and collect this later on or tomorrow. There we go, just parking up here. It'll be fine here. So yeah, here she is. This is a self propel This is the Agrio Dino 2. I get a whole 6,600 litres, so... I thought it would just be a little test for us, so... You know, the amount of fields we've got at the moment, I think in... The self propelled route... Wouldn't be a bad option. And it's something you do see here in the UK as well. We do see... Some self propelled sprayers. Not... Yeah, I'm missing not too much because, again, size of the field, size of the lanes, but yes, we are managing fine. It's does fold up neatly. I'm not sure if we went with the 27 meter configuration or the 30, what was it, 36 meter configuration? But yeah, we so yeah, we'll get those done. So let's get back to the farm sec, get us loaded up, and then we'll proceed from there. So there we go, it's got everything loaded up, so we can leave the John Deere there for now with that sprayer on. Worst case scenario, we can use that to add to us like a little, well, what's it? Pretty much act like a supply tanker, so just confirm, so is it potatoes as well we need to do? Yeah, so we need to spray this field as well. And again, the reason why we're going to be spraying now, rather than wait for the weeds to grow, is for the simple reason of preventive spraying. Because this will help us with... Oh, look like at that. Is there any other options? But yeah, the reason is... Nope. So yep. Yeah, I'd say the reason is... If we can get the pre-spraying down now... There is a texture change, so that's one good thing at least we can tell where we've been and where we haven't been. But yeah, if we spray now, then there won't be any need of, you know, doing actual weeding, then the weed's grown at. And even if they grow in the first stage, we use lose what? Seven percent of our potential yield bonus, so that is that seven percent penalty. So yeah, obviously this doesn't work with precision farming, but it's we do not on by spray. But just normally speaking, we're fine. And yeah, another thing is, do you want to apologize about the episodes not being out as regularly lately? I know we've been doing a lot of the long cut with Vintage Survival, but yeah, just been falling in love with that series and that. But we'll be just doing regular episodes on here. Not giving up on Court Farm, yeah, I've still got plenty of work to do on this map, so... And that's the thing, I know a lot of people's given up on court farming now, which... In a way, I do get that, is, yeah, it was a hot thing that by auction David. But then, after a while, people get bored of it, as well, it was heavily done on YouTube. So I think the current people I know who are reading court farm at the moment is... 
for a thing, apart from this silly P, I don't think anyone else is doing core format at the moment, or at least any notable size YouTubers. But yeah, even then, I'm loving the map. I do love. Okay, let me say maybe a bit biased than that, where Court Farm is quite close to where I am. Like, damn well. That is literally. All I have to do is go onto a link road, go onto a neighbor road, and then, yeah, I'll be traveling down. Damn well, on the. Was it A3? I can't remember if it's A3 or A370. It's one of the two, but. Yeah, like that there, like those hills there. It is this reminds me of home. It does. It's literally hop on my bike, ten minutes. I'll be yeah, seeing the hills, those very hills themselves. And yeah, it's one of those things. I did think I was gonna have like that kind of feeling. Yeah, initial was excited, interested in it, but yeah, I've just fallen in love with court farming out the map itself. Went to Court Farm Country Park for a friend's wedding. Because, yeah, Court Farm is a country park. As well as things, it's open house a country park to help with diversification of the farm. And that's one thing as well, like, I noticed with Mr. P, with his, like, last couple of episodes, like, I'd say it's the hate he's been getting, it's like, people whining, people bitching. Honestly, that's, that's the only way I could describe it personally, it's like, yeah, okay. I get it. I know Mr. P does his own things. He likes to do things in his own ways. And yeah, I've never had any issues with how he goes about with things. Personally, actually, I do quite enjoy it. Like, I do enjoy watching videos. Like, with the Forest Lava Challenge. Like, will I be doing that? Uh, probably not. I do have some ideas on some challenges I want to do. Including making a return to Silverrun Forest. Unless there's any other good like, forestry based maps. Okay, we do get that texture difference here. Okay, one thing to note about that. But yeah, that's one thing is. I do love a challenge, that's why I've gone with Finch Survival. And at the moment, as of recording this, I have done next two episodes, episodes 8 and 9, I spent a few hours doing bits for episode 10, just been having a flow of it, just been cracking on with it, especially with how I've been lately with being not most physically well now with came off my bike or on the week, so at the moment got a bashed up knee and a bashed up shoulder, that's why I haven't really been doing much videos lately. Like, up to currently, when this comes out, either it's going to be today or tomorrow. Maybe if it's today, it's going to be as recordings on Friday. It's going to be a late up though, because currently it is 12 o'clock as I'm doing this bit. And yeah, so by the time it's done, editing and render, it'll be about an upload, be about 8 o'clock, 7 8 o'clock. But yeah, going back to what I was saying about Miss CP and that's like You see you know, it's one of those things you can't please everyone. Of course you can. That's just life in general, I think personally. But yeah, just you know, some of the people that constantly whine it's like same thing when I see people whine about mods now, they call bait me this mod now, it's like Give it a break for crying out loud, it's like, it's pathetic, it's stupid, if you want to see stuff done, do it yourself, simple as that. But, uh, yeah, I don't mean to be a bit unhinged on that, but, yeah, just a constant whining. Okay, yeah, valid constructive criticisms, that I can get behind. No issues with that, whatsoever. But when you get to the point of where you're... Not so much be the people, it's bringing people down, they try to do things their own ways. Ways all which the majority of people do enjoy, but it's always. It's a select few, and it's not just the pharmacy community in general, it's... Honestly, it's any kind of community. I've seen it with sim racing, personally. I've seen it with, like, soft city skylines, it's... 
when you get that minority of people who just goes out of the way to or, again I'm not sure if it's hate or what or just incompetence, stupidity, boredom I don't know but yeah it's like especially the world we live in at the moment is like oh, just give each other a bit of love in that in a way just help each other out a little bit just, it's like be courteous as it was the old Christianity or love my neighbours little things like that does go a long way and I'm thinking that's <laughs> That's probably a thing in general with society is like losing that kind of love and this and that. And yeah, well, anyways, let's get back onto this. There was a left roller over there, so let's quickly move out of the way. And yeah, we're going for a bit, quite a bit of fur, not fertilizer, a herb site. Oh, we did have it just now. One of these. That one there. Actually, what we can do is get the worker, get that going, doing spraying, like 109, and start coming down this way. And then the downside is where will they have been? Because, like with the potatoes, we know where they where we've been. But with this, that's why like, with that just now that filled there, we're doing a lot of overlapping, it's like because I want to get as much yieldage as possible, especially with the corn itself, like, sunflower, yeah, we'll get sunflower oil to make crisp in that, but yeah, even with the others, I do want to have that good yield bonus, so, just give me a sec whilst I get these loaded up, there we go, got that set up, so, yeah, I think we'll get this going, and yeah, we're using using, not losing, a lot of, well, technically we're losing, in a way, losing from the tanks, but yeah, using quite a bit of herbicide here. Definitely may need to do some refills, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So yeah, if I get to work on that, that's going to continue to do its thing. As long as I get, like, the majority of this done, like, in fairness, I'm not too fussed. But yeah, we've got quite a bit of work to do. Definitely need to have some refill, so yeah. Let's get it done. It's gonna be a little short time lapse here, and yeah, get spring done. And once we're done with here, we'll go to June. And then I think it'll be time to sell the field beans and soybeans. <laughs>
there we go. We are done. So, so we'll make sure we've got everything put back in. Yes, we have. So we can go and return this. There we go. So yeah, now we need to start selling the fill beans and soy beans. But let's just have a little look at the PDA first of all. So go to our filters, weeds, turn off fertilizer. In fairness, we actually did most of it. Like there's a couple little spots here and there. But overall, ain't too bad, and they look big, like this area over here. But overall, it doesn't really mount to much, so I'm happy just to leave those. So, yep, a little bit of effectiveness on yieldage, but overall should be fine. And one thing I have noticed is, one, we've got to do a strip over here. Now, she's go and have a look, but... Let's grab this first of all. On the other side. Yep, nope. So there we go, with the weight on. Let's just have a little quick look here. So, yeah, when I was drilling this, I think I had to work on this for the most part. So, but yeah, for some reason, we completely forgot this strip over here. Like, oh god, but overall. I am liking that, like, it's in the furrows, not sure if it should be, is it meant to be in the middle or in the sides? I'm not sure. And for some reason we're not getting a fertilizer state, so I'll try spraying it, but nothing's going on, so... What's going on there, I do not know. That's one thing I want to do, is just adjust this, so... I think with this, well, you can adjust the suspension on this, so... No, it's not there. Oops. No, it's not there. Pretty sure of something. Ah, there we go. It's L1 and L... Yeah, because I want to see if I can adjust this, so... Last thing I like about this, you can adjust suspension, so it raises up, because so, it's got a weight on the front. We need to tweak it anyway, once we get cracking on with the selling, so... We've got a lot of stuff to sell. So if we go over here to our stuff, so... Soybeans, first of all. At the moment, we're again above market price, so... Okay, ignore the farm production. Farmer's market or tall tree store. 40 pounds difference per thousand litre, so... Yeah, overall we're not too fast, so we can take those two tall trees. Which is just around the corner. That can be done in one load. What will require two trips is the field beans, because we've got... 112,000 a year, so at the moment we're looking at around 4 grand. And the best place is actually Town Stores is offering 4.5 grand. That is £500 above the market price. So I think let's do that first of all. Actually, what I'm going to do is move this out of the way. Uh, let's get rid of that. There we go. Yeah, just to move that back end. The trailers we have left are in here. And yeah, I just want to double check our capacity, so... I know this is 70,000 litres. Yeah, 70,000 litres, so you know what? Might as well just stick with this. We do have these two others. But overall, I think, you know what? We'll just stick with this. And this is going to be the fun part now. Reversing back up. Let's try to do it in cab, so. Because, yeah, we need to back this up between the gates and then turn around and actually one thing I forgot to do is check around the walls how are they doing 
I need to move the wall at Steambridge. Court front cows are all good. And we're okay at the moment for hay at Steambridge. But yeah, we'll do a topping them up, do that later on. Okay, there we go. Try to get through the gate. And actually, I can park this around, so I'm gonna come out of here uh, in cab. That's the thing about using this trailer, it's so finicky. No, I ain't going well. I think the best option would be is simply drive in. So take the weight off. Just drive in, like so. Yeah, I think that would be the best option is drive in, like so, as we've done there, so. Now she's going to the auger. Last thing, like using this trailer is not really suitable with other trailers available, which would be far better at this. But for the sake of saving on an extra trip, is it worth it? Uh, begins to be on that. But there we go. Fill beans. Let that fill up. There we go, so load it up. Yeah, we're gonna take this. Where's we got to go to town stores? Town stores, four and a half grand. Yeah, this is where we make our money. Obviously we've still got six hundred grand though. But also I want to pay for another combine and also the root crop harvester as well, so do need to be mindful of that, but I think once we get all this done, we should be fine. So let's go and head down and sell the first loads. And there we go, we're at the store. And yeah, the Fed does manage still to pull this fine. Even though it is completely worn out, really it should be breaking down in that. Hang out. That's just what we'll do at the end of the episode is look at the repair cost of this, but anyways, let's go and sell our first load of fuel beans. So this will be the main hole for the fuel beans, so let's see how much money we can get. That is shooting up, that is 1.4, 1.5 mil, can we get to 1.6? Oh, just close. But 380 grand for that first load. So, got another Porsche load to do. And then also we've got the soybeans. So, I'll go and do another load of those. So, that's that. Soybeans. Soybeans, soybeans, soybeans. Where are you at all? There you are. And, yeah. Farmer's market. Actually, if it's at 6,063, is the price going up? It is, so yeah. Let's get all this sold. So I let that keep on rocketing up. Do you want to keep eye on Phil Bean? So, soybean 6071. Yeah, farmer's market's going to be. We'll do that. Hopefully, I haven't affected the price of the fill beans. 4553, still the best price. Garden Center is getting close, may exceed it, but that's a trek away. So, let's get all this sold and see where we stand afterwards.
there we go. So we skipped ahead a bit. So we're in June 2. So soybeans are at its peak now. So £6,594 here at Sell Everything Container. Just to double check. So yeah, just from the fill beans alone, we made over half a mil. And with soybeans, we've made an additional 300 grand. So we're at 2.1 million pounds now. So safe to say, you could pay off this zone indefinitely because do combines and the harvester are now. We're looking around between like around about 800 grand or so give or take so that still gives us about another 800 grand in buffer and yeah I also want to experiment a few things in that I also even need the production as well so this will cover the cost of productions and yeah as I think I mentioned before like the uh what's it the land we're gonna be using so if we're gonna go to here for this moment I should check on the cows. How are they doing? How's the manure? Manure's full, we need to remove that. But yeah, just overall, we're looking good and most of the money we spend, I think a lot of new land. Maybe like the one by one two five and one for three up north. Moving that. Well not removing that, getting that land. I'm tasting our productions there. Yeah, it is a bit of a trek for everything, including selling, potentially, but overall I think it's going to be worth it, so we'll quickly just remove one bucket's worth, so, so yeah, we still want to save up this manure and sell it towards the end of the year and that, or until this storage area gets full. Whatever comes first. Actually, whilst we're here, I think we can use that. Bell Shredder, or the short, or short player, whatever. Yep, sucking up. Yeah, there'll be no issues getting this topped up. But yeah, how is the cows? It's all got no hay left, so... I'm pretty sure we did a bunch of hay. Where did I plant to? Ah, yeah, the storage area. At Stonebridge, so actually, do we have like a pallet or not a pallet fork? Got gravels and these, but we could do with a bell spike. So, you know what? Let's quickly and go and purchase one. So, we want Tay Anders, Tay Ander tools. Yes, yeah, one like a bell spike or something. There we go, something like one of these. Is there any other ones? Pilot fork for that. And then, yeah, those bell spikes would do us just fine. You know what? That would do, so... Let's go and purchase that. Let's get these bell swords. There we go. Got spikes on. And yeah, I think I'll just chuck them a bunch of bells to be honest. So, depends on how much we can grab at once. I got, yeah, I can't remember the capacity of these. So, but yeah, it's just over here. And if you do it without having to pull any out, that'd be ideal. Even though that may not be an option. So 32,000 a year or so, we're going to need at least a stack of four. Oops. Just trying to pull these out. There we go. Can we do eight bells? Just no sun movements. So just raise it. Get these bells over. Yes, yeah, really one way. I'm just gonna take this nice and slow. There we go. 
Just no slow movements. Okay, we need to raise this to clear the gates. There we go. I think we should be good. <laughs> this is a like, I don't know why I've made it a lot more tense than it should ever have to have been. But anyways, there we go. Now, just give our cows the hay they need, so... Let's go under that. And that should be consumed straight away. Right. Oh yeah, it's being consumed. There we go, just want to shove these bells over. There we go. And that should be enough hate for them for the time being. I think, you know what? Let's just go and leave these bells here. Go and check on our animals, and yeah, 150,000 liters. Could do some more water soon, but we could do that in the next episode. Same with rabbits. Again, cows at Court Farm now are happy. Could do with selling a bit of slurry soon. Chickens are fine for food. And actually, what? Let's round off the episode here by selling some. Wool. Because, yeah, we've got lots of wool. Got a pallet of clothes as well whilst we're here. Yeah, we've got too much wool. Really could do with a. Well, if you want to go down that route of productions and that. Of, you know, having more productions to accommodate how much wool we're being producing. But again, that's the thing, like, again, with what I was on about earlier with Mr. CP. Like, you can easily go one way or the other, like I did with No Man's Land. I went everything with productions, and that's thing I like using the productions, and it's one of those things I would have not anticipated for it to almost all of a sudden become a bit of a controversial hot topic issue within the pharmacy community, but hey, what do I know? But. At the end of the day, play the game as you wish. Play what you want. Uh, with your, like, in terms of your favourite content careers, whether it's me, Mr. CP, or whoever else. Yeah, constructive criticisms are always welcome. Like, me personally, I welcome constructive criticisms, especially when I want to grow this channel this year and that. Always use maybe doing mod reviews and that, but with Wednesday. Well, I had to go out Wednesday, so when the mods dropped, it was like literally half an hour before I had to leave, so I couldn't get the mod review done. But even when I got back and planned on doing the map tour, the map was deleted for some reason. And yeah, last two days, mods just dropped as well on Friday. And yeah, at the moment, like, sort of sitting down, recording stuff, trying to get stuff done is a bit of a difficult task for me, like... Things like reaching stuff, that is the most painful at the moment, like... Try reaching grab stuff, so now, whether it's a headset while I'm doing time lapses, well, I'm more the mic now. If I'm doing time lapses, I'll disconnect the mic. But yeah, it's just reaching. I didn't even sit down, like, ain't too bad in general. Ooh, that was close. Didn't have it in gear. Or it in drive. What was on about? Oh yeah, just in general with me. Uh, yeah, just getting stuff done that is a bit of a difficult task, but once I'm starting to feel better, I will be doing more map tours. I will be doing mod reviews again. Just again, it's something different for the channel and that is something I think I could put my own twist on it, my own things like, my own impressions, because... Don't get me wrong, Mr. EP does awesome mod reviews. 
don't always watch his mod reviews. I'm one of those where I tend to watch his content more for his Let's Play series rather than the mod reviews, but there's been many times where I'm like, I want to use X and Y mods, but I'm not sure on how good it is, and rather than me testing it myself whilst doing prepping, you no know, sort of new game save on the map and all that. I could just look up mod and that on YouTube and nine times out of ten within the first two videos, so within the first couple of videos, bam, there you go, Mississippi's Peas um, mod view on a certain date with that mod. Obviously, it doesn't do like timestamps or anything. And yeah, especially if it's not a highlighted mod. You know of what's going to be in the thumbnail or in the title, then let's make it more difficult. But then, what you have to do is just go backtrack on when was that mod released and that. You know, just look up on the mod hub and all that, find out when it's released, and then obviously just backdate that way. That's how I trace things back when I want to look at certain mods. But anyway, so we got clothes and wall to sell. So Walnut at the moment, best price two nine three zero four, and that's that Floyd and source. But what about the clothes? So clothes worth five down twenty five five. Actually, you know what? That is the best price overall. And that is ah, it's all the way over there. So. Let's head over there and sell these walls and clothes. Again, a bit of extra money in the bank account. What am I call on? The stable. But yeah, then we head over there. And then I'll see folks one time over there. And there we go, we're at the store. So, I'm assuming we'll go here. So yeah, 10,000 euros of wool and 1,000 euros of clothes. And there we go, that is a additional 58 grand, so the final sum is just shy of 1.65 mil. Actually, since we're over here, I do want to look at, because we've got the wooden app being produced at the moment, I do wonder should we buy a wood production facility? So that is. No, it's not there. Where's the. Is it over there? Miller Sawmill. So that is 142 grand. So. Is it anything Pacific? Actually, I don't know. So. Let's save this and have a look. So we've saved the game. Let's go and pre-purchase the sawmill. Is there, you know, anything specific about it? Does it offer the premium stuff, or the platinum, sorry, stuff? Or nope, it just offers so it's wood to planks and a little bit of wood chip on the side. I think that is standard. I think. Yeah, I think that is standard. So, not the BGA, that is not standard. Because I've added stuff to it, so. Is there any other productions? I don't think there is. Got the bakery, got the green mill now already. No, and I just thought, hmm, have a little interest, so. But yeah, once we get these trees grow in a couple of years, get contracted out on that, cut some trees down for the local council. But yeah, we can use that to produce some planks for ourselves and maybe with this new plot of land we can grow our own forest in that. So But yeah, I, actually yeah, let's do that. Let's plant our own forest. I know sort of doing it on no man's land, but let's do one here for our own little forest now. Create a little logging business. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And on that note, 
I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. So next time, we'll be purchasing new combine harvesters, maybe even the root crop harvester, and yeah, just maybe some other things we may decide to purchase. Don't know why my voice went high there, there. But anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me for more Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.